This morning, the new push for fusion energy. A cleaner, safer form of nuclear energy has long been a goal. There have been unrealistic hopes and promises for decades. But slowly, progress is being made. To get an up-close look, we traveled to Princeton, New Jersey, to see what life is like at 200 million degrees. What tunnel are we in? So we're in the tunnel that leads from the control room to the machine itself. Inside an experimental laboratory at Princeton University, underneath a nondescript building, Stephen Cowley took us down the long corridor that leads to his life's work. All these are subsystems of the machine. An attempt to recreate the energy in the middle of the sun. It's really the perfect energy source. Fusion, when atomic nuclei come together, takes place in the heart of stars. It's the opposite of fission, when nuclei break apart. Fission is how nuclear power plants work, also nuclear bombs. A million tons of water alive with deadly rays. Fusion has been science's holy energy grail for the last century. The fits and starts have led to plenty of frustration. The perfect energy source is one that doesn't take up much space, has a virtually inexhaustible supply, is safe, it's fusion. You gave a TED talk in 2009, and you said fusion by 2030. We're eight years away. This is the problem of the modern age with video, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> caught you me keep, right there. You keep right submitting there. to interviews here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that we are looking now. So the National Academy of Sciences has come forward to say we want to start actually producing electricity by 2035. I was close. <laughs> OK, but we're still that's still not a guarantee. That's a yeah, it's a hope. Yeah. Hope is closer to reality when you take a look at a tokamak. So there it is. That's it. That's the machine right there. And if you look, you can see the red things are coils. Inside a tokamak, temperatures can reach up to 200 million degrees. When there's no such thing as solids, liquids, or gas, it's all plasma. When you look at the eruptions from the sun, you know those pictures you see of, of solar flares erupting from the sun? Yeah. That's actually plasma forcing its way through a magnetic field and out. And we're trying to do that here. We're not trying to let it erupt. We're trying to control it, to hold it down. What's happening on the sun happens oh, absolutely. right inside here. There. Right inside there. Right now, experimental machines like these are only able to sustain fusion at target temperatures for a few seconds. And the goal is to have that sustained yeah. for hours. Hours, days, months, years. Once they can do that, they'll be able to use that heat to make steam, which eventually makes electricity. The Simple. Simple, yeah. <laughs> yeah just. Is this a dangerous business? One of the great advantages of fusion is that there are no bad case safety issues with it. So it can't melt down. It doesn't have a, you know, a big, uh, an explosive potential or anything else like that. So it's a very safe energy source that you could put next to your town. Um, that's, a, that's a big advantage. Cowley believes our long-term energy future is a combination of renewables like wind and solar and fusion. The obvious advantage of fusion is that you don't need sun or wind to get the job done. A few gallons of seawater and the lithium in a couple of laptop batteries could provide enough energy for one person for their entire life. Is it a money issue right now? There's always a money issue, but actually what we really need to do is to drive the innovation. It's ideas. Bright scientists coming into the field and solving the remaining problems. I think we can do fusion. Our big challenge at the moment is to do it at a cost that the consumer wants to pay for their electricity. Yeah, it's not free. It does cost, it costs money to do all this research and then right. it will cost money to buy the energy. But think about that for a second. The energy in a few gallons of seawater yeah. and a couple laptop batteries could power your life your entire life. 
unbelievable. A plus on explaining it to us, right, dumbing it right. down. And it make, it making sense. Absolutely. And the idea that they can do it, you just need to do it for this extended period of time so that you can have enough steam to create the energy. But the best part of this is the potential for it, maybe not to be free, but low cost. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, and people aren't going to do it if it's, if it's super expensive. Maybe not in our, maybe in our lifetimes, but certainly we hope in our kids' lifetimes. Well, we have hope. It, yeah. it reminds me of The Saint, that movie. Cold Fusion, based, anyway. I haven't mind. seen that in a while. Never mind. Is that Val Kilmer? <laughs> oh, we're going to, thank you, Jeff.